Peggy 16. Hello everyone. This time I would like to deliver directly to you our future plans for Wii U. In past Nintendo Directs, we have focused more on games releasing in the near future. But it's still early in 2013, so I'd like to change the format a little bit. I'd like to share with you some of Nintendo's future plans for its own software titles and services for Wii U. But before we go deeper into this, I'd like to talk first about what kinds of communication are happening in Miiverse now. We talked about Miiverse in a previous Nintendo Direct, but it was difficult to explain the true potential before the launch of Wii U because of the nature of the unique interaction that occur when many users are organically communicating with one another. Additionally, the only people who can really see what's going on in Miiverse are Wii U owners. Some of our Nintendo Direct viewers may not be able to truly understand what Miiverse users are feeling. There have been a lot of posts by many users on Miiverse during the two months since launch. But there are so many posts and comments on Miiverse that even Wii U owners cannot check every post and many of you may not have noticed when something was happening in Miiverse. So we would like to spend some time today to showcase a few examples that might help illustrate what Miiverse is. The first example is from downloadable game Trying 2 Director's Cut by Frozen Byte. When players get stuck in the game and ask for help on Miiverse, other players help them to get past the problem. You can also see that the game developers actually commented directly on a player's drawing. When we developed Miiverse, we hoped that players would connect with each other by asking and teaching, sharing experiences we can see this happening globally. I believe that the fun of the game is not only when playing a game, but also sharing your feelings and experiences with others who also have feelings about the game, no matter how different your game experience are, or how far you are separated by distance, or even if you don't play together at the same time. The next example is from UbiSoft's Zombie U title. This game is very hard and challenging, but Miiverse works as a relaxed and welcoming gaming atmosphere. Our final example is the super high quality artwork we see on Miiverse. Even here at Nintendo, we are surprised to see so many people who are so skilled at drawing. If you have checked out Miiverse on Wii U, you may feel the same way too. There really are so many fantastic hand drawing, and I'm sorry we can't show them all here with our limited time. The example we showed today are only the tip of the iceberg when looking at what is happening on Miiverse right now. I hope you take the chance to see what's going on yourself. Some special Mii characters with marking are beginning to appear in Miiverse. A green check mark is attached at the upper left of the Mii. These are Mii characters that have been confirmed as the official accounts of the listed user. We created this system for corporations, organizations, and other individuals to have their authenticity verified by Nintendo. At present, we verified accounts for individuals, such as people 
who are involved with software development and are mainly utilizing these accounts to provide new information about their games and services. These special me users can attach links to an external website to their posts or can embed YouTube videos. I think that there are many people who viewed the post from Mr. Takemoto, the director of New Super Mario Bros. U, where he shared Super Play videos with the New Super Mario Bros. U community. We will continue to utilize this feature and provide a variety of updates and new information now that you can view YouTube videos from within Mebus. Stepping away from Mebus since launch, we've been receiving many consumer requests for a variety of improvements that they would like to see with Wii U. We are planning to provide two significant system updates, one in spring and another in summer in response to some of these requests and to also add some new features. We recognize the time it takes to launch software and to return to the menu screen is one of the biggest issues on Wii U. We are going to improve it incrementally in two stages with these updates, once in spring and again summer. Another of the user requests we've been hearing a lot since even before Wii U launch is everyone saying they like to play virtual console games on the Wii U gamepad. We are planning to launch the Wii U virtual console service right after the spring system update releases. However, the original Wii virtual console lineup was prepared over a long period of time. So we cannot offer the entire lineup at the time the Wii U Virtual Console service starts. Please understand the situation. At the time the service starts, we will prepare a selection of NES and Super NES titles. The Wii U version of Virtual Console games are being newly developed for the Wii U system. Similar to the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console, you will be able to save a backup of your game progress. The service will also have other features, including the ability to play off TV on the Wii U gamepad, as well as accessibility to a Miiverse community. We are also planning to add other platforms, including Game Boy Advance, which we haven't released for the Wii Virtual Console. We will offer special pricing for those of you who have already purchased the Wii version of a Virtual Console game and transferred it to Wii U. The prices for NES and Super NES Virtual Console games for Wii U will be the same as they were for the Wii version. If you have already purchased the game, on Wii and transferred it to Wii U, the Nintendo eShop will display the reduced price for you automatically. 2013 is the 30th anniversary of the release of the original family computer or Famicom from Nintendo in Japan, which of course was called the NES in America and Europe. So we have decided to offer a virtual console trial campaign making one NES title or Super NES title available for purchase each month starting this month and lasting through July, the month when the Famicom originally launched. The titles coming before April will be available before the official virtual console service starts. We are planning this campaign to offer the virtual console experience on Wii U to a wider range of players. To celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Famicom, the selected titles will be available for the special low price of 30 cents. 
each title will be available at a special price for 30 days. You don't need to have a Wii version Virtual Console game to participate in this campaign. The price for each title will return to its normal price after the campaign distribution period is over. After that time, if you already own the Wii Virtual Console version, you will be able to purchase the game at the reduced price. If you do not own the Wii version, you can purchase the game at the normal eShop price. So I hope you will try out these games during the campaign period to see if you might be interested in buying a particular game. These are the games we will be offering each month as a part of the campaign. We've selected Balloon Fight for which I was one of the game developers as the first title in the campaign. You can purchase the game as soon as this Nintendo Direct is concluded. Please download it and enjoy. Perhaps you will want to show off your skills by posting how much you can score in the balloon trip on Meavers. I'm hoping some of you would post a screenshot with a great score on your post to surprise us. Combining virtual console games with Meavers opens up another new possibility for the service. As I've said before, the fun of games is being able to both enjoy the game themselves plus being able to talk about them with others and share those experiences. For example, in Pikmin 3, we are planning to include a feature that lets you use the Wii U gamepad as a camera to capture close-up photos in-game and share them in Meavers. I think you will be able to find new enjoyment by capturing climactic moments where you can see sceneries and creatures at the same eye level as Pikmin and share them with others. For We Fit You, we are going to add new features that will let you create closed user communities on Meavers. A specific ID number will be assigned for each user community. Once you use the ID number within WeFitU, you can then access it to see the community in the Miva screen. It may be easier to understand if you remember the community features in Mario Kart 7 for Nintendo 3DS. You will be able to discuss exercises, BMI or weight changes, and other health topics with other players who you are exercising with to encourage and push each other to achieve your fitness goals. Because Miiverse is in broad terms a closed web-based service that employs many internet server-side features, we can easily make changes and also add features. We are planning to expand some features this spring. The user communities, which will be introduced at the time of the Wii Fit U launch, is one of these additional features. We will also add additional official communities for individual software titles and usability improvements. We are seeing issues that interesting posts can easily be buried by many posts these days. To solve the issues, we are working on adding a filtering functions and so forth which users can use to access posts conveniently one by one. We recognize there are other areas of Mivas we can improve and we plan to tackle these one by one in the near future. We are also working on preparing functionality that will allow you to browse Meavers from smartphone beginning this spring. At first, 
It's going to be a browser-based experience from smartphones. But we are also planning to create smartphone app in the future. When you access Miiverse and see the post from your smartphone, you will have to use your Nintendo network ID and password. I believe this will expand the potential of Miiverse when you can access it away from home. We'll make the announcement once we can confirm more concrete timing. Regarding the system software, video on demand services are currently only available for the UK. We plan to expand this service to other European countries. We are also aware that European consumers are asking for Nintendo TV software which is already available in Japan and America. We are working on making this available for European countries as soon as possible. I appreciate your patience in regard to this software. Next, I will talk about the games Nintendo has planned for the future. But before I do that, I should mention that there are only a few titles that will be released by Nintendo for Wii U in January or February. Nintendo takes seriously its responsibility to offer a steady stream of new titles in the very early days of a new platform to establish a good lineup of software. On the other hand, we also firmly believe we have to offer quality experiences when we release new titles. Based on our software development schedules at the end of last year, we concluded we should spend a little more time to satisfy our Nintendo standard of quality. I apologize to those supporting Wii U about the lack of new titles from Nintendo in January and February. But please understand, we will have new titles to offer from March onward. We are planning a steady stream of games from this spring to summer, including Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on 22nd March, Lego City Undercover on 28th March, followed by Game & Wario, We Fit You, Pikmin 3, and of course, the wonderful 101, which Platinum Games is working on. It's for the first time in a while that we can offer new information about the wonderful 101. Today, we have some new footage. Please take a look at it. Team, fall in! This is your first and only warning, invaders. Surrender your arms or we'll have to use force. Entering enemy Argon radar range. Red alert. This time, the mighty Lambo will wipe their simpering smiles from the face of the planet! <laughs> How about you come down here and I toss you in a cage where you belong, Banana? I have no time to waste on pathetic underlings! You will produce your leader! Ah, there is the blue wave music! Every insult and opportunity to run a talk to an opponent! Stick a tube, ah. boy, Graw! Ah. Full speed ahead. Roger. Time for that alien to eat missile. Team, unite up. Roger. The wonderful... 101! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's move. As for Platinum Games, you may want to know about Bionetta 2, right? The development of the title is going well, but it's not the right timing to discuss details about the game yet. However, here is a special video from the game development studio. Please take a look.
かなんか皮なら皮っぽい質感がうまく出せたらいいなぁと思うんですけどいかに自分のこういうふうに表現したいんだっていうのを出すかっていうのはまあ常々考えてるところでありますね全然違う場所も結構いっぱい出てくるのでそういうところでまあワンではなかった場所はこの世界観に合わせるのにどうやったらいいのかなっていうところは結構苦労したりしますけどね。レオネッタらしさっていうのもワンの方で固まってるんでもうちょっと違った面白いネタはないかっていうところで考えてみたいと思いますね。スピード感今回全然違うんでもう最初からラスボス感漂ってる感じでその辺を結構楽しんでもらえるんじゃないかなとは思ってますけどやっぱりウィーンならではの遊び方を提供すると同時に2ならではの部分でクライマックス感を打ち出していきたいと思うんでその辺は期待してもらいたいところです。Want to touch me? In the past, Iwata asks focused on each individual game and its contents. We think it's good to try a new style and discuss the game development studio. And its culture and philosophies. Our first experiment with this will be Iwata Asks Platinum Games. I visited Platinum Games and talked with Minami san and Inaba san. This time I was able to concentrate on and ask about the background of two game creators from Platinum Games. And their fundamental approach and philosophy toward game development without getting into details of the game. I had a different feeling from previous Iwata Ask sessions. Please wait for its release soon. I'd also like to talk with Kamiya san at the launch of The Wonderful 101. It's going to be a separate Iwata Ask session in the future. Some of you may have some expectations of new information about the all new Smash Brothers game for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. It is a huge development undertaking, and we need more time before it launches. Mr. Sakurai, who is leading the development efforts, told us we set the timing to review the first game screens of the new Smash Brothers at this year's. E3. Game development is on track. I would like to ask you to wait for just a little longer. Now, I'd like to talk about some Nintendo titles about which we haven't made any previous announcements. Our EAD Tokyo team, which created the Mario Galaxy series for Wii and Super Mario 3D Land for Nintendo 3DS. Is working on new 3D Mario action game for Wii U. And we are also working on Mario Kart for Wii U, a series that has seen one installment for each hardware system we've released. We are planning to show these titles in playable form at E3. Please wait for a while to see how those experiences have evolved on Wii U. We are also working on a new party game from the creators of Wii Party to release this summer. In this game, there are various gameplay styles. For example, one uses the Wii U gamepad as an unusual kind of dice, letting you play virtual board games on TV. The other one will use the gamepad and Wii Remote. To encourage communication between players. Some will not use TV screen but will only use one gamepad to pit two players play against each other. 
This game will use the features of Wii U to create very different experience from games like Nintendo Land or Game and Wario. This will continue to enhance our image of making Wii U the system that brings everyone together. For these titles, even though they are certainly new announcements, you may expect them and say, it's natural that Nintendo would be preparing new versions for these series. So we have two more titles in development that I'd like to share with you. First is a new game being developed by the team behind Kirby's Epic Yarn. This time, the main character is Yoshi. Takashi Tezuka, who was the director of Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story, is supervising the development of this title. It's been quite a while since the last time we had new game for the home console featuring Yoshi as the main character. The last one was Yoshi's Story, which we introduced for Nintendo 64 back in 1998. We would like to leverage the Wii U graphics and hardware capability to show how attractive a new Yoshi game can be. The second is a new collaboration title. Please take a look. This is a collaboration between the Shin Megami Tensei by Atlas and the Fire Emblem franchises. Because the scope of game development for each title is getting larger and larger, we cannot prepare enough titles for Wii U using the same approaches we have taken in the past. This collaboration with Atlas is an example of one of our new approaches. We are working with many more partners on additional collaborations as well. I will discuss those projects in the future Nintendo Direct or at other opportunities. Please look forward to hearing about them. Finally comes the last topic for today. We are going to discuss our plan for the Legend of Zelda series on Wii U. Please allow Eiji Aonuma, the producer of Zelda, to explain. Hello everybody, watching Nintendo Direct. I'm Eiji Aonuma, the producer of The Legend of Zelda. Zelda no 25周年を皆さんと一緒にお祝いさせていただいたのはついこの間のような気がしていたのですがあれからもう1年も経っているのですね。次日の経つのは早いものです。昨年末にはウィーユも発売されましたので、そろそろウィーユの新作ゼルダについて皆さんにお話ししたいと思うのですが、詳しい話は実際のゲームの画面を見ていただけるようになってからするとして、本日はその開発テーマについてお話しさせ
ちょっと興味深い画像がありますのでそれをぜひ皆さんにご覧いただきたいと思いますファンの皆さんにはこれが何の画像かもうお分かりのことと思いますがこれは今から10年前ゲームキューブのタイトルとして発売された「ゼルダの伝説風のタクト」の舞台となった「タウラ島を」を UU で HD 画像化したものです。我々ゼルダチームは2011年の E3 で HD エクスペリエンスという Wii U のゼルダのデモを公開してからさらにそのグラフィックを検討するために過去のシリーズタイトルをいくつか HD 化してみたのですがタクトの場合は画質が良くなるという単純な変化ではなく何か全く新しいものに生まれ変わったように感じました。新作のゼルダを完成させるにはまだまだ時間がかかりそうなのでそれが発売できるようになるまでの間に Wii U で生まれ変わった風のタクトを皆さんに遊んでいただけるように製品化することにしたというご報告をしたかったからなのです Wii U の風のタクト新作同様楽しみにしていてください As you've seen, we are working on two The Legend of Zelda games for Wii U with one remake titles and one completely new titles for Wii U. We are planning to release The Wind Waker by this fall. Some Nintendo Direct viewers may not have had a chance to play this game, even though you had some interest in it because Nintendo GameCube didn't have very big install base to reach to all of you. We also think The Wind Waker, with its whimsical and enduring cartoon style, is the perfect game for introducing first time players to the Zelda universe. This time, we not only will be updating the graphics, but will also tune up the overall game experience. You will be able to play it on your TV. But we'll also be able to play it off TV on the Wii U gamepad. You should be able to use Miiverse this time, too. I think you will find this can add new elements of fun to this game. As for the brand new Wii U Zelda game, since it is a bigger development project, it will take some time before we can make. More concrete announcement. But I hope you will look forward to our new challenges of revisiting every single detail in the Zelda series. Please stay tuned for updates on our new challenges. Finally, I have one more important topic. Mr. Tetsuya Takahashi and his team at Monolith Soft. Who worked on Xenoblade are working on new title. Please take a look. How was it? I hope today's Nintendo Direct offered a slightly different flavor. We couldn't talk about Nintendo 3DS today, but we will find a separate opportunity to do that soon. And we will also provide more information about the efforts by our third party publishers on Wii U. 
We hope to make this year exciting for you through Nintendo Direct by providing more information about Nintendo 3DS and Wii U directly to you. Thank you for watching.